Praise the Lord. Greetings from the Greens Army of Worship. It's my pleasure to connect with you at another time with a good message from the days of meditation. We have a program called 3C Meditation where we meditate on Christ's cross and Calvary. I'm happy to share with you some of the meditation thoughts that God has put in our hearts these days. In my previous message, I was talking to you about where are you? Those who haven't watched it, please go back to the video and please be blessed by the video. Where are you? So when God came in search of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, he asked them, where are you? We saw that the living word that came in search of man at the time. For that question, man replied, Since I heard your voice and I found that I was naked, I was afraid and hid myself in the trees of the garden. Man didn't realize his mistake. He didn't realize the death that occurred in his soul, the everlasting soul, that the separation happened in his soul. But rather, he was so concerned about the physical appearances. And that's why he said, I was so naked and I was afraid and eat myself. My dear brothers and sisters, even today, many of us, we misunderstand God. We don't understand His love. We don't think and understand what God has done for us. And that's the real hurt that anybody can do for God. Even to this, Adam, who established and enjoyed the great fellowship of God in the Garden of Eden and all the glory that was covered. He didn't realize that. He didn't realize that. When the glory left, he went and hid himself behind the trees. So in this message, I'm going to talk to you about the, the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. When man was questioned, where are you? He answered about his physical appearance. And so after the conversation, we see that when God was about to send Adam and Eve out of Garden of Eden, he didn't send them as such. He was not negligent about his concern. Rather, he fulfilled, he answered his concern. God was concerned about the concern of Adam. Adam's concern was about his physical nakedness. And not about the nakedness of his soul. Or not about the death occurred in the soul. Not about the separation that happened in his soul. So what happened? God, in Genesis 3.21, we read like this. Also for Adam and his wife, the Lord God made tunics of skin and clothed them. What a great God. So we understand that the first tailor in this world is, is the Lord. The first fashion designer is the Lord. The first tanner is the Lord. And here we read that he made tunics of skin for both Adam and Eve and he doesn't give them but he rather clothed them. So the tunics of skin, what it reveals? It shows the structure of man, the image of man, the physical image, the physical appearance, the physical structure of man. When God came in search of man, he was so concerned about his physical appearance. And that's why God answered his physical concern, physical appearance concern. 
the concern about his physical appearance. He made tunics of skin and clothed them. It shows the physical image, the physical structure. A God is a great God. He is awesome in his thinking. He doesn't think like you and me. We can think for a day, two or for a year. But our God is an eternal God. He thinks through eternity. And that's why when man answered him about the physical concern, he answered and he gave a correct answer for the physical appearance. He made tunics of skin for both Adam and Eve to cover his physical image. But he also knows that there will be a time when man realizes the original likeness because when God created man, God created him in his own image and his likeness. The great loss that mankind suffered is when he sinned, he lost the glory, the image of God, the likeness of God left him. That's the great loss. God knows that when man realizes this, and God doesn't create a solution at the time, but rather he created a plan at the time. And that's why in order to make a tunics of sin, there was a sacrifice offered. And that's why we read in 1 Peter 1.20, he was foreordained before the foundation of the world. And Revelation 13.8, we read the book of the Lamb of God who was slain before the world. What a great God we serve. Jesus Christ was slain even before the foundation of the world and he came in the name of Jesus before 2000 years ago in order to reveal the God's plan for us. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus was crushed. He was slain on the cross of Calvary for us to remind that we need to turn back to the image, the likeness of God. When we believe and accept that Jesus was slain and we are clothed with this image, his glory and likeness. And that's the greatest blessing. Today, where are you? Where are you going? All the other things will leave us. The money, fame, popularity. Man is trying in search of all these things. But remember, there is a God who came in search of you for you to search what you have lost. What we lost is the very image and likeness of God. And that's why today, there is a hope, my dear friend. If you are bogged down with the sin, with the depression, with the guilt, with the condemnation, here is a message of hope. Jesus Christ came into this world who was foreordained as a slain lamb before the foundation of the world. He came into this earth 2000 years before to be slain on the cross of Calvary so that he can restore the image of God in us, the likeness of God in us. The real man is your soul, not your outward thing. Today we are more concerned about our outward appearance. We want to be gentle. We want to be appropriate. We want to be good looking. Yes, there's no wrong in that. It's good. But if you are concerned only about that, then you are losing something else. You're losing the essence of your life. The essence of life is whether your real man is clothed with the image and the likeness in which it was created. God created man in his own image and likeness. And in order to restore that image and likeness, Jesus Christ came into this earth and he was slain. He was crucified. He bore a death for us so that we can be restored and we can be clothed again with his glory and his image and his likeness. For God so loved this world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but to have eternal life. If you believe in him, just believe in him that he died for you. He sacrificed himself for you to be clothed. For you to be covered from your nakedness. For you to be delivered from your separation. And that's the hope my dear friends. My dear youngsters, God gave you his glory, his image, his likeness. 
let us long to restore it back. Let us long to get it back with all its grandeur which was given to him in the Garden of Eden. May God bless you with this word. See you in the next video. May God bless you.